Welcome to another Splatoon 2 video on the channel. This will be a news roundup video. Let's just kick things off with the fact that the next Splatfest for Europe has been announced and that Splatfest will be on screen now. It will be taking place next weekend. Let me know in the comment section below what team you would be on. Of course, this is just a European Splatfest. So if you are in North America, let me know in the comments what team you would have picked if that Splatfest was available for your region. Of course, this weekend in North America, it is the South Star versus Guacamole Splatfest. We now have some artwork for this Splatfest and yeah, it looks really good. It looks no different to all of the others that they do. Seriously, each individual artwork that they do to celebrate Splatfest. They always look really good and this is no different. I will be showing the Pocky Splatfest artwork on screen as well. That Splatfest was won by Marino. I think Marino, she has won every single Splatfest since it did get changed. So it will be interesting to see who will win out in this weekend's Splatfest. Will it be Pearl? Or will it be Marina again? So in the background of this video, you will be hearing some music. And yes, this is Seascape. But it might sound a little bit different to normal. And that is because this is the Smash Brothers version of Seascape. It has been remixed a little bit by Hiro Keizu Tanaka. I probably might have pronounced that name wrong. But that composer has basically done a remix of Seascape for Smash Brothers Ultimate. And yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of it just because I really do love the original. It definitely does sound, obviously you've still got the elements of the original in there, but it definitely does sound a lot different to what I'm used to. I think it's just the case of I need to get used to it just because I have listened to the original so many times. I'm sure once I am playing Smash Brothers Ultimate, I am sure that I will grow to love this remix version just like the original. What I will be doing is once I will play through the remix version a couple of times and then what I will do throughout the rest of this video is just play the original and let me know in the comment section below what version do you prefer. So Tanaka, he is the CEO of Creatures who is a company that also works on video games and Tanaka he did compose a lot of music for Nintendo's games back in the day. So he is definitely an experienced composer. Let me know your thoughts about that remix version in the comment section below. Of course, in the last Smash Brothers Direct, it got confirmed that there will be 26 Splatoon songs in there. So yeah, definitely I'm looking forward to listening to all of the 26 songs that will be in Smash Brothers Ultimate. One last thing about Smash Brothers Ultimate is of course a new trailer came out recently and this has got a lot of attention just because that trailer it does fit well with a lot of music. I just want to comment on how cool the Inkling looks in that trailer. She really does look really cool so yeah I just can't wait until Smash Brothers Ultimate comes out on the 7th of December. Let's just move on to the next topic. And that topic is that the 4.2 update came out for Splatoon 2 last week. I just want to quickly point out a change that this update has brought to the game. Now with Splatoon 2 we have had some gear loadouts that were only available by downloading them from the news feed and once those news topics have disappeared from the news feed that is it you couldn't be able to download certain gear loadouts now with the 4.2 update you can now get those gear loadouts and you can get them by ordering them from people in your lobby in Incopolis Square or you can get them from the shops now and those gear loadouts are the Splatoon World Championship t-shirt that came out in June and the rest of them is the Halloween gear that we got for the Splatoon event so now there is another way to get those gear loadouts previously before this update 
if you didn't download them from the news feed, that was it. You couldn't get your hands on those gear loadouts, but now Nintendo has made it able for you to get those gear loadouts. This is a cool change with the 4.2 update that I wanted to point out. Say like if you just bought the game and you missed out on the Splatoon event and you missed out on getting the Splatoon World Championship t-shirt, now you have another option to get those gear loadouts. I do believe those gear will appear on the Splatnet app as well, but I could be wrong on that. But yeah, they will start to be appearing in the shops in, in Copley Square. And so like if you see someone using the little devil horns or the angler fish headgear, you can now order that for merch to pick up and you will be able to get that gear loadout through that way through getting it through merch so that's pretty cool how there is another option it will be interesting to see whether those gear loadouts will come with different gear abilities than what i have currently got so with some of the gear with the little devil horns i've got ink saver sub i'm just wondering with our say like when it does become available in the headgear shop. I'm just wondering whether it will come with the same gear abilities or not. Now this is a regular feature of cool stuff that is coming out in Japan. I'm not really sure whether all of these things will be available for the West. I do believe the first thing and that is a new range of the King of Games merch. I do believe that is available for Western users but you will have to pay for shipping so there is a new king of games merch range and this is based on gear in actual game itself and yeah it definitely does look really cool i really like that aspect how you've got clothing in real life that is based on gear in the game that is just really cool i would love to see nintendo do more of this sort of thing for western users I seriously I just love the idea. The next merch news is that there will be a new Sanrio line of Splatoon 2 merch to celebrate the Sanrio collaboration that we had in the game earlier on in the year. I think this range will only be available in Japan unfortunately. Now I'm not sure whether I have covered this before. I kind of got the feeling that I have but I just want to repeat myself just in case you didn't watch that video or just in case I haven't covered this before. So pretty much the Octo Expansion Mem Cakes will be made into erasers. That is just really cool how those Mem Cakes will be available in real life. These are being made by Takara Tome and these will be available in capsule machines in Japan starting in December. I really hope there is a way for western users to get those erasers they really do look really cool or rubbers if you are in the uk we call them rubbers i know you guys in north america call them erasers so yeah definitely is really cool merch i'm just hoping that we will get some of them available to buy for the west i really hope they will make its way to sites like play asia that do ship worldwide. The last topic I quickly want to mention is that it seems like Black Belly Skate Park will be getting revamped in December just because there are files in the game showing that Black Belly Skate Park will be changing really soon. So this could be the revamped stage we will get in December. So that is pretty much it for this video. And I will see you in my next one, hopefully.